16-8 in the, the edible arrangement game number one. So Kitty Dogs going to Burden. She's blocked. But uh, he's back on Wiley's side and they tip it over. Now a uh, snipe there from Shipman, but Wiley is there. And a chip shot of their own. That comes from Karis Christian. Volleyball is up for grabs. A spike by Emerald of High is dug out by Davis on the back line. And then a spike by Christian goes into the net. And a point for Amarillo High. Amarillo High 16, Wiley 8 in game one. Tough serve there from the Sandys. Wiley gets a couple touches. Their third does keep it alive. It's Ginger Landman over the net, but Amarillo High counters. They're spiking into the Wiley block, but it's down from Marusik. Curry Marusik with a kill. Wiley down nine here. Getting it to Landman. Her tip shot blocked. And then Freeman, excuse me, Shipman, then spiked it down. And Wiley calling another timeout. Timeout on the floor here in the opening set. Wiley down 18-8 to the Sandys of Amarillo High will step aside quickly. You're listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball presented by Dr. Pepper and it's on Bulldog Live online.com. Betty Rose's Little Brisket has gotten bigger. Two new locations for full-service dining, daily lunch specials, and a happy hour that begins daily at 4 p.m. with additional appetizers, plus live music twice a week on the Triple B porch at each location. The newest location, 3934 Cat Cloud Drive, even has a full bar. And the best food made from scratch is at Betty Rose's. Betty Rose's, 2588 East Lake Road, and now 3934 Cat Cloud Drive. You are listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op. Now, back to the court with Matt McGraw on 1280 AM KSLI. And we are back here. Playoff volleyball, the first round. Here's Wiley receiving the serve. Going to Burden. She got blocked again back out of Wiley's side. And still have it now set up for Karis Christian. And that one... It is going to be down for a point Wiley. There was at least for a second an initial, an initial disagreement between the line judge, the flag official, and the head official. It's going Wiley's way. It's down to, as it's being uh, ruled that it was ricochet, slightly touched by an emerald of high block on the spike by Christian. Point for Wiley. It's 18-9. Emerald High 18, Wiley 9. Wiley serving here. Riley Hayes, left to right in play. Here comes the kill attempt of number 11, Marler. But Wiley is there. Now setting up Davis. And just out. If Davis has been just a little bit off. Of course, number 9, one of Wiley's best players. Number 9, the junior outside hitter and even setter now. That is Keaton Davis, but point for Amarillo High. There's Wiley. Struggling on the serve for seeds. They do volley it over. It's a free ball. Amarillo High setting up a spike there from Marusik. Number two again, Curry Marusik. It's a point for Amarillo High. 20 to 9 here in the opening set. Looks like Wiley not going to be able to take this first one tonight. They're going to try to settle in here to this playoff match, knowing that you haven't lost anything yet. That's a good play, though. Spike and kill by the Lady Dogs. Keaton Davis. Wiley down. It's 20 to 10. Here's Madison Burden. Left to right serve. Here comes the spike. Marler again. Nice dig this time. Riley Hayes. Now Davis. Down. Strong spike and kill. Keaton Davis. There's a kill to put the donation in the Bulldogs Live Online Scholarship Fund. The kill donation from Borland Family Dentistry. Here is another serve by Wiley. Here's a spike that Wiley blocked on the Amarillo High side. Good block by, that was Doby. Spike by Shipman. That goes out, though. 
A little spurt here. Nice push by Wiley late in the first set of this first round playoff game. Wiley still down eight. Here comes a tip shot. That was Shipman again. She's a pretty good player. The setter, mainly a setter, number nine, Hannah Shipman. That one going to fall. Wiley now down by nine. Thank you again. Edible Arrangements. They're at the Crossroads Shopping Center. They're at Buffalo Gap in the Winter's Freeway. Here's Wiley receiving the serve. A tip shot. Keaton Davis. There was defense by Hannah Moore. Wiley has the volleyball on their side. It's going to be Pearson Sanders to tip it over. Keeping it alive. Now Moore for Emerald, Ohio. Spike that that's Wiley. Hey, did he do? Now Davis. Big time bomb. And here's High, though, scrambling to it. Now Moore. And it's going out. That means it's Wiley getting a point. And a more, the spike is out. 21-13 here in game one. Wiley down the eight. Going to be number 14, Ginger Landman to serve. Here it comes. Emberlo High Shipman setting this time a big spike. And that is out, though, from, that was Davis, Corin Davis, Point Wiley. Wiley down seven after getting that one. Ginger Landman serving. Here's Emerald High. They're a bit off here. Their spike is over the net, though. Wiley has it. And it's going to be Davis taking one. Emerald High, they partially blocked it. Now their tip shot is from their Lothero Schaefer. Wiley has it. Dovey, a big spike block. But Wiley hangs with it. Davis serves up a facial for Wiley. Keaton Davis, a bomb. I'm handing out a VIP sports get away. Big play on that sequence for Wiley. Check him out online. VIP sports getaway.com. And there's an ace for Wiley. Ginger Ratman. Wiley coming back here in the opening set. Game number one. They've come back from down nine to down five. Landman, another service. This time, Emerald High has it going to Moore. Landman dips it out on the back row. Oh! And then no one takes the second touch. It was not, it was up for grabs. So he was on Wiley's side. It wasn't like they were scrambling. That was not scramble mode, not in the back of your court. There was a nice dig, and then no one took it. Point Amarillo high. Here is Wiley receiving the serve, and that one is out. I should say Wiley receiving the Amarillo high serve, and that means point Wiley. Wiley is down five, and it's late, but they've come back a little bit. They're down 22 to 17, and serving is Keaton Davis. Here's Shipman, though, setting up Freeman, and that was tough. Those are a couple of good players. Point on a spike and kill for Amarillo High. Chelsea Freeman, 23-17 for Amarillo High here in game one. And that's an ace for the Sandy. Amarillo High gets an ace there, and that puts them on to a game point. This is a Dr. Pepper game point. Dr. Pepper sponsoring all of our game points. But it's not for White. Wiley must score here down 24-17. They're setting up on the server seat. Davis taking a spike, but Amarillo High is there. Now Freeman a big spike. Nice dig by, that was Sanders of Wiley. Now Wiley got blocked. Hanging with it. It's Harris Christian, a spike, but Lopez has B on it for Amarillo High. Wiley, though, is there. Davis, two-hand tip. Amarillo High has the D. And then a spike by Hannah Moore, and that is down finally, and that means Amarillo High gets the point. Number 10, a final kill there. Number 10, Hannah Moore, and it's another strong opponent for Wiley. They do fall here in game one, 25-17. 25-17 was the final, but I think a lot that they can build on here in this match as they're going to get ready to... uh, for game two, we're going to switch sides of the net, get ready for the second set. But a good a good little flurry there at the end. I think that's going to build some confidence as they play the rest of this match against Amarillo High. We'll take a break, though, and come back 
as we'll get ready for game two. Emerald High now leads the match one game to none. You're listening to Wiley Volleyball. We are presented by Dr. Pepper, and it's on 12 KSLI. Hey, Wiley Bulldog fans, if you want to keep up with school news, community news, sports news, or art news, check out Wiley Growl Magazine. Wiley Growl is the official magazine of the Wiley Independent School District, a full-color magazine highlighting all of the great accomplishments of Wiley students, and it keeps you up to date on what's happening in the district and in the community and features Wiley residents of all ages. For information on how to pick up your copy of Wiley Growl Magazine, go to WileyGrowl.com. It's great to be a Wiley Bulldog. Since 1890, the folks you know and trust at Haskell National Bank have proudly provided the latest in banking convenience. At Haskell National, we make it a point to get to know you and provide you with the personalized service you deserve. Stop by and visit Haskell National Bank, Buffalo Gap Road at South 32nd and Abilene, or 601 North 1st in Haskell, celebrating 125 years of continuous service. Thank you. Member FDIC. Bobcat of Abilene, the power behind your work. Over 30 years in sales, rental, parts, and service. If you have a job to do, we have the right tool rental. If you have questions, we have your solution. Visit Bobcat of Abilene today at 2257 South Treadaway. Active military, law enforcement, and first responders receive 10% off all equipment rentals. Bobcat of Abilene, over 30 years in sales, rental, parts, and service. Bobcat of Abilene, the power behind your work. When it comes to finding the right vehicle for you, there's no better place than right here at Lawrence Hall and Abilene. For over 26 years, Lawrence Hall and Abilene has been the place to find the best from Chevy, Buick, and GMC. And that's still true today. Great vehicles and great service. We're your West Texas source for all your vehicle needs. So the next time you need a new car, truck, or SUV, come see us here at Lawrence Hall and Abilene today. Go to Abilene's best new car dealer for over 20 years by you, our customer. Now, back to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. And we are back here. So the playoffs have not started the way Wiley would at least hope, but down just a set here as they get ready for game two. They're serving. And the first serve is going to be an ace by Riley Hay, number seven, the sophomore. Serves up an opening ace here. Start game two. Wiley's now on a different side of the net. That's down my right. Here is a spike. That was Marusik for Emerlo High. It's down. A spike and kill, so we're tied up at one. But Wiley's attack. The Lady Dogs going to be hitting and serving their balls right to left. Right to left here in the second set. Wiley receiving the serve. Sanders for Stutch. Miller setting up for Davis. Kip shot. Will be down. So already seeing a little adjustment there from Davis, who had been spiking pretty hard to start game one, but going out, and this time tips it and scores. Here's the Sandys going to number two again. It's down for Hill Curry Marusic. Tied up at two, just underway very early in the second set. Wiley did drop the opening set to Amarillo High, losing 25-17. And almost an ace, good dive there. That was Davis because the net tipped it on the serve by Amarillo High. Wiley did keep it alive, but then Amarillo High kind of had a free ball and they eventually set up. That was number 11, Marler. Lauren Marler, a spike and kill. She's had several tonight. And Wiley down a point here. 3-2 in the second set. Wiley receives the serve. We'll give you our second set sponsor after this point. As a tip shot, Keaton Davis. Emerald High did get to it. Wiley has the volleyball. Miller sets up for Doby. A nice spike. Here's Emerald Ohio. Are they going to get to it? They're not, though. They get a couple touches, but in the end, a good spike by Lily Kate Doby. Point Wiley, three all. Our second set is sponsored by Abilene Battery and Golf Cars. New sponsor here for Bulldogs Live Online. Thank you so much, Abilene Battery and Golf Cars. Here's Emerlo High. They're on the attack. I'm hearing a whistle blow as a spike taken. They're getting Wiley touching the net. 
net violation. I think they're getting, I think they got Keaton Davis. She looks a little confused, but it's going to stand for a point Amarillo high. Wiley down 4-3. Davis this time taking a set, or giving a set rather, to, that was Wimberly. Her spike is just a little bit long. It's out. Head coach for Wiley Shaycox. Look over at Wimberly and just says, you're close. She actually holds her hand and just says, you almost got it. Here's Davis setting up this time. Karen Christian, a big spike. Or no, Doby, but it's down for a point, Wiley. Number five, Lily Kate Doby, a spike and kill. But our Game 2 sponsor again, that's Abilene Battery and Golf Cars. Batteries for the car or truck, batteries for a tractor, lawnmower, motorcycle. They got ATV batteries or batteries for a golf car or electric wheelchair. They're on industrial. There was a big spike by Freeman. And it's down for a point Emerald High, but it's 24-34 industrial for Abilene Battery and Golf Cars. Six to four here. The first set. Amarillo High jumped out 10-1. So Wiley's doing obviously much better. They just got blocked, though. That block for a point, Amarillo High. 7-4. Wiley down here, down by three. Receiving the serve. Would love to get this one. Davis setting up for this Karis Christian one-hand tip. Emerald High has the beat. Now they're spiking. That was Freeman. Nice dig, though. Good dig by Pearson Sanders. And it's eventually going to come back to Emerald High. And it's going to be a point Emerald High. This is going to be uh, Wiley uh, receiving the serve. They're off again, but they do folly it over, keeping it alive. Here is, that's Hannah Moore with a spike for Amarillo High. Wiley's Lily, too, digs it out. That's Doby, but she just got blocked. And blocked for a point, Amarillo High. Timeout called. Timeout called by Wiley head coach Shea Cox. We will step aside. We're here in Brownfield for the 5A5 district round. And Wiley down 9-4 here in the second set to Amarillo High. You're listening to Wiley Playoff Volleyball. We are presented by Dr. Pepper, and it's on 1280 KSLR. The Wiley All Sports Booster Club is a proud supporter of Bulldogs Live Online and their broadcasts of Wiley Sports and exists to support all Wiley Sports. Reason number three why you should become a member of the Wiley Booster Club. Did you know the Booster Club hosts the annual All Sports Banquet for Wiley athletes? This is a highlight every year, and this type of support is impossible without Wiley fans like you. Be a part of this by joining the Wiley All Sports Booster Club today. For more info, check our website, AbilenewileyBulldogs.com. You are listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op. Now, back to the court with Matt McGraw on 1280 AM KSLI. And out of the timeout, it will be Wiley to receive the serve. Lily New at the last second, going to let it, yeah, smart there. Let it go over her head. Good job by number 10, Lily New. That means that serve is out by Amarillo High, much too hard. And a service error giving Wiley a point. So they do score out of the timeout, something you always love to do. You don't like to take a timeout, but you want the first point out of it. And it's now 9-5. A serve by Pearson Sanders. It's coming to Freeman. She's been a big bomber. And there's another spike and kill Chelsea Freeman. The five-point game here in the second set. Wiley down 10-5. Want to try to keep this to, uh, you know, three, two to three if they can. Here's almost an ace, though. But Amarillo High trying to spike it after Wiley hit it back to him. That one was by Shipman, but that is out. That's one where Wiley going to catch a little bit of a break. Wiley receiving the serve, didn't receive it very well. Their first touch carries the volleyball over to Amarillo High's side of the net. Usually those spikes are just drilled straight down. For some reason, this one was hit just a little bit too hard, and it goes out. And Wiley gets the point. So they're now down 10-6. Here's Freeman again, tip shot. And good choice that time for the Sandys. She turned out probably to be their best hitter, number eight, Chelsea Freeman. 
It's 11 6. Wiley down in the second set. There's a chip shot, Lexi Miller. They're calling Wiley for an illegal back row attack there. That's a, a violation. Not always. That's always an interesting call, but that is what it was an illegal back row attack. Here's Wiley receiving down 12 6. There's a big spike, Keaton Davis. Big dig, though, by Chelsea Freeman. Amarillo High volleys it over. Wiley has it again. But now Christian. He got blocked. And blocked for a point, Amarillo High. 13 6. Here in game two, Wiley down. And that's an ace for Amarillo High. Tough serving right now, number eight. That's Chelsea Freeman. Doing it all. 14-6 in game two. Here's Davis, first touch. Seth Miller, Spike Landman. It goes into the top of the net, though. Points for Amarillo High. Wiley had closed to 10-6, but now five straight from the Sandys of Amarillo High. 15-6. Here's Landman taking a spike for Wiley. Amarillo High comes back. And Wiley, good D there. They're going to keep it alive for a spike. Oh, it's going just out from Keaton Davis, meaning another point for Emerlo High. And Wiley receives the serve down. 16-6 and now down 17-6. And I think taking timeout again. Yeah, they're taking a timeout. That was an eight. Here's another timeout. Wiley will step aside. They're now down 17-6 here in the second set. It's a very good Amarillo High team. You're listening to Wiley Playoff Volleyball. We'll be back with more of the second set right after this. The Wiley All Sports Booster Club is a proud supporter of Bulldogs Live Online and their broadcasts of Wiley Sports and exists to support all Wiley Sports. Reason number one why you should become a member of the Wiley Booster Club. Did you know the Booster Club gives additional financial support to all sports, helping out where funding stops? This kind of support is impossible without the support of Wiley fans like you. Be a part of this by joining the Wiley All Sports Booster Club today. For more info, check our website, AbilenewileyBulldogs.com. Now, back to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. And we're back for more of the second set. Sponsored by Abilene Battery and Golf Cars. Here is the serve by Amarillo High. They're going to Wiley, rather, going to get it over for Miller. I think another the no back row attack. Uh, illegal against Wiley Miller when she's doing that. I guess she's doing something illegal there. Number 11 got whistled for another illegal back row attack. Here's Wiley getting it diverted. She got blocked, so blocked for a point. Amarillo High It's only getting tougher right now. 19-6, and Amarillo High has scored nine straight. This is Davis for Wiley. First touch, Miller a set the volley from Burden. Here comes the tip shot, Marler, for Amarillo High. That's down. Tough serving going on right now from number eight, Chelsea Freeman. Wiley down the 20 to 6 in game two. Here's Spike, that uh, rather carrots Christian. And Merlo High does scramble to it, find it over to, uh, that was Marusic. Wiley both there, and Madison Burden taking a kill at this, but it is dug out. And now Marusic. And a spike and kill. It's an 11 straight, 11 in a row from Amarillo High. It's Amarillo High 21 and Wiley 6 in game two. So this one is, this one's gotten away quickly, the second set. Wiley going to have at least one more set left here in their season to try to turn around this playoff match. Here they are receiving third going with a spike, Karis Christian. <laughs> Dug out by Freeman on the back line. Now Wiley digged out an attack and gets it to Keaton Davis, but again, Amarillo High is there. Now they're spiking with Shipman. 
and put it down. It's now 22 to 6, and it's 12 in a row, 12 straight. Wiley cannot get the old side out right now. And here's Ladman, two-hand tip, Amarillo High. They are there. They're getting it to, uh, that was Marusic. That time the spike is in to the net, though. And Wiley going to put it in for the run. It's a point Wiley. Puts it into a 12-0 run. That's 12-0 in basketball. That's that's tough. It's even it's even worse though in volleyball. That is uh, that's a tough run to absorb. Here is that Shipman on the attack and going to score there for Amarillo High, 23 to seven. Only a couple points left here in game two. Wiley dropped the first set. The first set was 25-17. Here's Wiley receiving it. Going to take just a volley there. They're just not receiving serve. Well, and that's having to do with the serving of Amarillo High. It's been tough. But Amarillo High taking that volley and setting it up for a spike and kill. The old free ball. And it's a Dr. Pepper game point. Game point Amarillo High for game two. Sanders, first touch. Miller, a set. Spike, Davis. It goes out, though. It's out. And that's going to put it into the second set. And Wiley is going to certainly have to shake that one off. Not much they can do there. But forget about that one and go back maybe to game one and especially the uh, end there of game one where they had a little bit of something going because they just lost that one 25-7. So they've lost 25-17 and 25-7. And we'll take a break here and come back for game three. You are listening to Wiley playoff volleyball. It's the first round of the Class 5A playoffs, and Game 3 is on tap. We'll have for you. It's up next on Bulldog Live on Line.com. Hi, I'm Darren Black, owner of Black Plumbing. For 24 years, Black Plumbing has been serving our neighbors, and we are proud to be a part of your community. In Abilene, call us at 325-675-8391. If you've ever wondered what services we provide, go to blackplumbing.com. The pros who know are ready to go. Call on Black Plumbing. Help is on the way. Maverick Saw Cutting and Core Jelling is a proud sponsor of Wiley Athletics. Maverick Saw Cutting and Core Jelling will save you time and money with the latest technology, including concrete cutting, live wire and rebar detection, structural analysis in real time, precision wall cutting, and core jelling. From standard concrete to highly abrasive concrete. Maverick Saw Cutting and Core Jelling, 325-788-7777. Or go to maverickSawcutting.com. Go Bulldogs! You'll feel the difference when you have your AC unit serviced by ACS Heating and Air. ACS Heating and Air is family-owned and operated. ACS provides service, preventative maintenance, and system replacement for commercial and residential. ACS Heating and Air also provides free estimates. ACS Heating and Air hope very much to earn your business, but their mission? To earn your trust. And don't forget to ask about the Comfort Care Program. Call 325-690-0998. Hey there. Hey there. My son's going to help me. going to help me. Yep, it's the copy game. Copy game. I could say anything right now, and he'd repeat it. He'd repeat like, it. I just love Brussels it's sprouts. Like, I just love... Hey. <laughs> I'm careful what I say around him. I also try to make sure I pass on good energy-saving habits. You should, too. Save energy and money at TogetherWeSave.com. TogetherWeSave.com. You know, my dad is the coolest. My dad thinks he's funny. A message from your hometown co-op. It's Taylor Electric Cooperative in Merkel. Now, back to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. And we're back at Brownfield. Ready for the third set now for game number three. And, of course, Wiley now with the prospect of elimination. An elimination set with Amarillo High. Having taken both of the first two games, Wiley down 2-0. Down two games to none here. And game three going to be brought to us today by Lawrence Hall. Lawrence Hall offering the best vehicles from Chevy, GM, 
Lincoln, Volkswagen, and Mazda, and the best customer service at Lawrence Hall. Here's Amarillo High to start with the serve. Wiley setting up with Davis. Davis, Spike is dug out, though. Now a spike for Amarillo High came from Arler. Wiley does get to it. Now taken by Ginger Landman, and that's down for the opening kill to the Lady Dogs. Game three is underway. Wiley does take the first point. And Amarillo High will receive the Wiley serve. They're going to Marusic. She's been good as well, number two, and she'll get the job done there, hitting it, spiking it into the Wiley block. But it is down for number two, Curry Marusic. So game three is tied up early at a point of peace. Wiley was just, they need a lot of confidence. They want to stay in as long as possible in this specific set, and there's a spike and kill, Keaton Davis. So number nine delivers up the kill. That kill gets a donation to Bulldogs Live Online Scholarship Fund, our company's scholarship fund, the kill donation from Borland Family Dentistry. Thank you so much. There's a spike. That was Marler, Hannah, or excuse me, Lauren Marler, and that does find the line. It's in. It's down for a point. Amarillo High. Two up. Two, two here. Just underway in the third set. This is a good touch by New over to Davis. And Davis will get a tip shot to fall. This time, Keaton Davis taking it on the second touch as the setter. So a little bit of trickery there. Putting the second touch over the net in the setting motion. Wiley gets the point. They're up 3-2. Their season on the line here in the third set. There's a spike by Freeman. That one going out, though. It's out. The meaning point Wiley. Wiley getting the point because Chelsea Freeman not finding the end part of Wiley's court with that spike. Another serve for Wiley. Here, Emerald High gets it to you. That's Hannah Moore, number 10. And that time, that is down. That's a kill. Point Amarillo High. Wiley maintains the one point lead during the third set, up by one at four to three. That serve is into the net by Amarillo High, and Wiley gets the point to go up five three. It's going to be Sanders. Wiley would love to even build a lead. Sanders serving left to right in play. Freeman, big spike. Nice block by, that was Burden getting a piece of it. Now Burden, third touch, here's over the net. Now Freeman again. But Wiley gets another dig. And then a tip shot, Wimberly, and that is down for Wiley. Avery Wimberly with a little tip of the volleyball. Point Wiley. Here's Pearson Sanders serving again in play. They're going to pour. The spike is down. It's going to be a kill for Amarillo High, just barely in. Wiley is the one in front here, the one that's got at least the early lead. Just love to have the fast start. Wiley's been unable to have the lead in either either of the first two games. And Amarillo High serving right there. And that one going into the net, though. So a point for Wiley. And Wiley goes up 7-4. And it's going to be Wiley to serve here. Number 11, Miller. Wiley up 7-4 to four after the service error by Amarillo High. Now it's by Amarillo High is into the net, though. Came from number 12, Corin Davis. Point for Wiley. And Wiley goes up 8-4. And another serve here, so... Playing much better here in the third set. Here comes Marusic, though. Big bomb. Nice dig, though. Pearson Sanders. And then Karis Christian, a spike. It is dug out. Now Marusic. And that time it is going to fall. The points for Amarillo High. Cutting Wiley's lead to 8-5, though. So still a good start for the Lady Dogs. Wiley 8, Amarillo High 5 here in the third set. With Wiley trailing two games to none. This is 
Amarillo High digging out a Wiley attack. It's back on Wiley's side. The scrambling third touch is over the net by Sanders. Now Amarillo High Marler. That one's going to fall. Number 11, Lauren Marler. So Wiley's lead is at two. Wiley's up eight to six here in this game three. And now the serve is in to the net by Emerlo High. Freeman, Freeman, who's a good server. So Wiley loves to get her off serve and take a point on a service error. Wiley nine, Emerlo High six. A nine six lead here in the Lawrence Hall game three. And there's Emerlo High. Trying a little tip shot. Wiley is there, though. Now Miller taking a fight, but it's dug out by Amarillo High. They come back, and a kill attempt will result in a kill from Marusic. That good little number two player. She's not all that little, about six foot. Curry Marusic. Wiley is up by two with their playoff lives on the line here in game three. They're going to get it to Sanders. Pearson Sanders takes a one-hand tip over the net, but here's a spike. And it's down. That was Marler. That was Lauren Marler cutting Wiley's lead to just one. Wiley nine, Emerlo high eight. Emerlo High has not called a timeout at all, even through any little Wiley run. There's Wiley. The speed the serve. Landman spiking down the line. Dug out. Now Emerlo High gets it to Marusic. And again, it's down. The Wiley's 9 6 lead is gone on a 3 0 run by Emerlo High. And it's tied at 9. Here in the third set. Wiley will receive serve, trying to get that lead back. And they're going to get it to Davis. And Davis, I think, got blocked there. There's a little contact with the uh, crowd, Mike. But, yeah, Davis got blocked and blocked for a point. And now an ace by Emerlo High. So it was 10-9, and then they just got a service ace. And it's 11-9. They're on one of their runs again. Riley was up 9-6, but five straight. That serve is going out by Emerlo High. It was Shipman, so she got an ace, then a service error. Wiley gets the point. Wiley down 11 10. So stand right in it here in the third set. Oh, but a service error right back from Madison Burden. And that one actually a serve that goes too long. It goes out to point Emerlo High. 12 10. Is the score Wiley down the deuce here in the third set, down two games to none in the match. Here's the Lady Dogs receiving serve, getting it to Doty. Spike though goes out. And now Wiley finds itself down three. 13 10. Wiley needs it. Keep it close if they can. Davis first touch. Filler setting up for Landman, a spike, in, in. It's in, just in for the Lady Dogs. Making it 13-11. Good spike, so a kill there by Ginger Landman. Give another donation from Borland Family Dentistry, our kill sponsor. And serving now down 13-11 is Landman. There's a big spike, though, that was Number 11, that was Marler again, Warren Marler. So 14-11, Wiley's deficit here in the third set. And again, they're trailing two games to none, but they're, they're battling here in the third, not ready to go home just yet. They get it for Davis, a two-hand tip over the net. What a fancy play. It's going to fall. The trickery again from Keaton Davis, that time flipping it over the back of her head in a setting motion. I'm handing out a VIP sports getaway. Great play to that. Little trick by Davis. Now Emerlo High receives a serve, getting it to Moore. But Wiley blocks it. Back to Emerlo High. They'll spike it down. So Wiley got an initial block. 
But Amarillo High going to score anyway. It's still a three-point deficit for Wiley. Here in the third set, they're down 15-12. Receiving serve, and that is an eight. Ouch. By Corin Davis. The Sandys of Amarillo High with the ace. And a timeout here. Timeout called by Wiley and head coach Shea Cox. Let's take a quick one here with Wiley down 16-12. Here in the third set, you're listening to Wiley Playoff Volleyball. We are presented by Dr. Pepper, and it's on Bulldogs Live online.com. Wiley School District has remained an athletic and academic powerhouse by dedicating itself to hard work, determination, and creativity. In much the same way, Abilene Teachers Federal Credit Union has remained a reliable source of great service and products since we were founded in 1950. Our five-star rated mobile apps let you conduct banking at your convenience whenever and wherever you choose. So if you live or work in Taylor County, you're one of us. Join ATFCU and experience the team spirit that's kept us going for 65 years. But more importantly, for this game, go dogs! You're listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. And welcome back, everyone. We're here at Brownfield. And Wiley uh, getting ready to receive the serve. They're going to execute here as we're settling in here just out of the break. Riley did score 16 13 here. Here comes an attack by Everlo High. That was more. But that is out. So make it 16 14. Wiley going to serve. Wiley down here in the third set. With a spike that blocked that one from Freeman. Back on Emerlo High's side. There's the spike. Wiley going to dig that out. Comes to Karis Christian down the line. She scores. And Wiley out of that timeout is on a 3 nothing run. They might not be dead just yet. 16-12 is now 16-15. Here's Emerald High struggling with the service and ace, in fact. Going to be a service ace by the Lady Dogs to tie it up. Pearson Sanders. We're tied at 16. Emerald High receives another serve. Hannah Moore. And oh, that is going to be down that time on the serve. Receive one, two, three. Point for Amarillo High. 17-16 is the score here in the third set. So Wiley is going to go down swinging here, and they're not out of it by any means. You just have to take a set to just generate any little momentum. They're down by a point. The third, Avery Wimberly, big spike, but Amarillo High doesn't get to it. Now Freeman, though. And Freeman's spike will result in a point for Amarillo High. Wiley down two, so certainly could use it here. Down 18-16 in game three. We're going to get it to Burden. She's taking a spike. Dug out. <laughs> Maruska blocked by Burden, but blocked out. He's blocked back on Amarillo High's side, but it goes out. Wiley finds himself down 19-16. So they had just tied it at 16, but now have given up three straight. It's going to be a third touch. That was Sanders getting it over for Wiley. There's a tough little hip shot from Shipman. Wiley does get to it. And then Doby taking one. Dug out. Now Freeman. And Freeman scores again. So we were tied at 16, but now it's 20 to 16 here in game three and things are looking a little bit dire but Wiley if they get this point could still hang in it receiving the serve Sanders first touch Davis ascend that's Christian aside and a whistle blows and Emerald Ohio got called for a net violation I think they got Shipman for touching the net point Wiley they did get the point to make it 20 to 7 uh, they pretty much had to have it at 20 to 16. They did it. Now they serve. 
going to be Miller. Left to right it goes. It's in play. Emerald High going to Marusic. She spikes a tough one down. Good player. Point Amarillo High. Wiley down four again. It's getting late in game number three. Here's Wiley receiving the serve. Setting up. Karis Christian and she'll keep him alive. Keep him back to within three. And the spike and kill number four, Karis Christian. Another donation to the Bulldogs Live Online Scholarship Fund. Every kill, a donation from Borland Family Dentistry. Wiley down 21-18. The one to string them together. Left to right serve, Riley Hayes. Number low high trying to spike. That was Davis, Corin Davis. Wiley has D. And now Keaton Davis takes a big spike. It is dug out, though. Now Marusic. And Wiley cannot get to it. Point. Amarillo High. And Wiley wants to call a timeout here at 22 to 18. I want to use this timeout though to uh, bring in our another another of our new sponsors here, our company Bulldog Live Online. Uh, glad to partner with Robot Lawnmowers. It's Robin Autopilot. You heard me correct. Robin Autopilot asks, "Why mow your yard yourself when you could kick back, relax?" and let a robot mow your yard. Plans start as low as $23 a week for a robot lawnmower. You check them out. It's Robin Autopilot. The website, robinautopilot.com. They're a proud sponsor of BulldogsLiveOnline.com and our broadcast of Wiley Sports. Out of that uh, timeout by Wiley with their season on the line, they're going to receive serve. We're in the third set down 22-18, and that serve is going way out by Emerald High, so Wiley will take it. Came from Shipman, so point Wiley on the service error. 22-19, Wiley serves. Emerald High going to Marler. Wiley's Riley Hayes digs it out, big dig there. Then Keaton Davis got blocked. Oh, and blocked for a point. Amarillo High, 23 to 19. Wiley is down, so they really need to keep as much as possible keep Amarillo High from scoring this next point. Another point from Amarillo High puts them on to a match point. They would have a game point and a match point. They don't have it yet. And Wiley can score here and string them together. Tough serve, but Wiley does get it to Davis. She's taking a chip shot. It is dug out. Now Amarillo High on the attack. It's down from their Davis, Corrin Davis. And so Amarillo High does have their 24th point. Amarillo High has a Dr. Pepper match point. It's for the match here in this playoff game. Wiley, Riley Hayes, first touch. Miller is set. Davis a big fight. Lopez digs it out. Now it comes to Moore, and it's out, though. Hannah Moore's spike goes just out by a couple of inches, meaning Point Wiley. Wiley's still alive at 24-20, although Amarillo High still has a Dr. Pepper match point. Wiley serves left to right, and Amarillo High is a bit off. And they're scrambling. Here comes their third touch. It is over the net. Wiley has it. This is a spike. Davis, and oh, it goes out. It is out. Wiley had the last spike by Keaton Davis, but it goes out. 24-20 makes it 25-20. Wiley loses the uh, third set by that score, 25-20. They had a chance, though, right there, at least in that sequence, to make it 24-21. They might have gone on to still lose, but I love the way they paddled there, but they do fall in the third. 25-20 is the final of the third, so they get swept tonight. They do lose to a very good Amarillo High team. The Amarillo High is a high school from a big city, the big city of Amarillo. We make no excuses, though. Wiley uh, battled them as best we could. They were just very talented and just a lot of tradition, actually. Amarillo High has uh, several, and by several, I'm thinking almost 10 state titles in volleyball. I told you, they love their volleyball in the panhandle. 
and they beat Riley. The final scores were 25-17, 25-7, and then a pretty close one at 25-20. And Riley, though, is eliminated. Just got knocked out of the playoffs here in the first round. They are going home here, but still a lot uh, like this season. It was a good team and a, just a new experience, I thought, and I thought they uh, did as best they could, stepping up. It certainly was a step up in competition this year. Tell you what, we'll take a break here and we'll gather our thoughts. We'll come back with the Player of the Game Award. It's just a little award that we give out, but specifically because we've got good partners at Abilene Window and Door and WileySports.com to sponsor that Player of the Game Award. So we'll give out the Player of the Game Award. We'll also put a wrap Put a little bow on the Wiley 2018 volleyball season and let you know what we're transitioning to. We being our company, Bulldog Live Online. We'll do it all in that short post game show, so stick with us. We'll take just a very, very short time now. Won't be very long at all. We'll come back and do all of that, including our player of the game. Wiley loses, though, this playoff match to Amarillo High. In straight sets, you heard it right here, Wiley playoff volleyball. It was powered by Taylor Electric. Ladies and gentlemen, meet John. John is a middle class guy. Hello. John likes his sports talk. John likes his news talk. John likes rock and roll. That's right. John reads the sports section and the business section. John likes the game of billiards. John likes eight ball and nine ball and those fancy trick shots. John has plenty of room at his house for a pool table and maybe a game table and maybe some game room chairs and maybe a, dare I say it, yes, maybe even a bar. And right over there, John could put shuffleboard or air hockey or foosball. John will decide when he goes to Abilene Billiard Connection. Then John's wife will come in and decide what color and style. As long as John gets his billiard table, he doesn't give a rat's patootie. Really, a man's home is his castle. And in John's castle, there will be a game room. Abilene Billiard Connection is at 2950 North 1st, so John and Mrs. John can completely outfit their castle's game room at really good prices from a local concern. Now that John is getting his game room, here's what John has to say. That's Abilene Billiard Connection at 2950 North 1st. Dr. Pepper presents recording artists Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. When you're growing up, the world tells you to be just like everyone else. But how boring would that be? When I started writing music, I found the best songs I ever wrote were when I was being completely honest. That's why Ryan and I decided to stay independent. We turned down major label deals because we wanted every single thing that had our name on it to be authentically us. The world needs more one-of-a-kind people. Dr. Pepper, always one-of-a-kind. First Financial opened for business in 1890, so this marks our 125th year serving the people of Texas. Through that time and an ever-changing financial landscape, we've continued to thrive. How? Our customers. We wouldn't be here without you. So thank you for coming to us to help grow your business. Buy a house, save for college, plan for retirement. Thanks to you, after 125 years, we're just getting started. First Financial, you first. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Bobcat of Abilene, the power behind your work. Over 30 years in sales, rental, parts, and service. If you have a job to do, we have the right tool rental. If you have questions, we have your solution. Visit Bobcat of Abilene today at 2257 South Treadaway. Active military, law enforcement, and first responders receive 10% off all equipment rentals. Bobcat of Abilene, over 30 years in sales, rental, parts, and service. Bobcat of Abilene, the power behind your work. Country KSLI 1280. 